Okay. We also have the magician. So the magician is into power. It's into transformation. It's into mysticism and magical. And a perfect, perfect brand to me is Disney. Disney is definitely representative of that kind of like magician brand, but magician brand also speaks to people who do transformation. So if you have a product that is centered around changing a person's life, changing them physically or changing their mindset, your brand is actually also a magician brand. Then we have the hero, right? We see this hero, we see this in like just about I'm going to say 80% of all movies, right? You have your action-packed movies and you have your hero. They're like honest, they're brave. And that's definitely like that Nike, just do it. You know what I mean? Where there's a will, there's a way kind of a guy. Then you have the lover. And the lover is all about intimacy, right? Intimacy, kind of like that more feminine tone, that sensual, the empathy. They're the soother. You know, so it'll be brands like Victoria's Secret, Chanel, you know, things like that, that just really speak to that more emotional component. Then you have the gesture. And these are, you know, that funny character. This is like your Will Ferrell kind of a guy. They're into fun, fun loving, playful, optimistic. They don't really take themselves too seriously. Um, one of the most transformative brands who has moved um, into the jester space is Old Spice. Like you see their commercials where they're like fun, they're silly, you know, and things like that. Definitely M&Ms, you know, kinds of brands. And then we have the everyman. The everyman is that kind of like, he's just normal neighborhood, neighbor guy. You know, he's the everyday guy, right? The everyday girl. Like, you're just like me. I'm just like you. You know, just very, just normal, natural, and dependable, I would even say. And you get friendly, humble, authentic. And I think uh, IKEA is a great idea of that every, every man. And also companies like Home Depot. That would be a great idea. And then we get into the caregiver. And these are typically, you know, like your, your, your service providers. These are definitely be your caring warm, reassuring. So this is where you really get into your like profit driven, profit centric um, brands, Tom's, you know, the brand and Boba socks, like you buy one and they gift one to someone else. Um, so we all know brands like that. And the ruler, this is probably one of the dominant brands when it comes to luxury. Like the ruler is that controller. They are commanding. They are the taste makers. They define the rules, right? They are commanding. They're articulate. They're serious. So that's where you get your like Mercedes, your Rolex, you know, your very like black label type brands. Then you have the creator, right? And that's the person who's just like all about that artsy thing, that freedom of expression, you know, inspirational. They're daring too. You know what I mean? They challenge you to the next level of creativity. Apple, definitely, hands down, uh, creator brand, in invoking your creative uh, spirit and then also allowing you to be expressive in that, okay? So then we have our innocent, our innocent, duh, perfect example, right? This is like safety, honest, humble. You think about a lot of like um, Johnson & Johnson, Aveeno, anything that's pure, talks about organic ingredients, safe and things like that, that's your innocent. And then we get into our sage and our sage is our wise old owl, right? This is our wisdom type brands. This is our information centric brands. And so this is where you get your knowledge, your assurance, your guidance. This is where you go to for trusted information, BBC, Oxford, you know, even Google, even Google is where we go to now for trusted information. And last but not least, we have our explorer. And our explorer is into freedom. So this is like, soon as you think about that outback, rugged, you know what I mean? Getting out there, traveling, seeing the world, exciting, fearless, that's your explorer. And that's where you get into like your Jeeps, your North Face, and your Patagonia. So when I saw this, and you know, me being a, uh, um, a teacher of the, the bank concept, when I saw this, I said, oh my God, okay. I'm seeing some similarities here. Right. As they're challenging me to think about my brand and my persona, I'm noticing like, wait, a few of these things are sticking in to a few categories. So I'm giving you something that I created. This is not anywhere on the Internet that you're going to find. This is what I actually created to help you to sort this information out. 
So what I did is I decided to take the four categories that the bank introduces and then put in the three categories of the brand archetypes so that you could better understand the association between yourself and your customer. So let's think about it. When we thought about our blueprint customer, right? What they value, the brands that are gonna speak to the blueprint is gonna be that ruler, right? That authoritarian person that like, you know, remember our blueprints are like our architects, there are officers, uniform judges, people like that, right? And then also the hero, the hero guy. He's, he's decent, he's honest, he's humble. And then of course that regular guy, because remember our blueprints are super conservative as well too. Like when you meet a blueprint, you're going to get a firm handshake. He's not going to be flashy or anything like that. So to me, if you know that your customer is like more blueprint, you fall into one of these brand archetypes. And this is where you want to kind of really focus on your messaging. So the next is action. And remember our actions, they're unorthodox. They get up and go. They don't like rules. They don't like to be told what to do. Like they don't take things too seriously either. They are going to show up late, but they hate the wait. They're fun loving. So this to me is going to be attractive to, they're going to be attracted to that rebel, that Harley Davidson spirit, to that explorer. And then even to the gesture, you know, that fun loving, like let's go out, let's turn up. So to me, that's definitely the brand archetype that you fall into if you know you attract actions or vice versa. Now, your nurturer. I think that one was probably the one you could really, all of you guys could really nail it really easy. Like that caregiver, that innocent, that lover. It was like, yes, definitely that is the nurturer, right? So even on this chart, caregiver, we got Pampers, right? Um, for the lover, Chanel. And even for the innocent, um, what do we have here on the chart? Dub. That is like, you know, your nurturing type of a spirit. Okay. So then knowledge, that's going to be your sage, your creator, and your magician. And let's think about the brands that fit into that. That's your Apple, right? That's the Apple brand that was like, yes, that's definitely, we know knowledge. Another Google, right? And then of course, like that magician. So when you think about like Disney and all of that, there's still like that tech and that majestic magicalness to them that make them um, attractive to knowledge and text and things like that. So this is really, really, really going to be important as you move forward in your storytelling, your brand and understanding this. And again, this stuff gets really, you know, it can go there. I'm giving you an overview and um, you'll have an opportunity if you want to move forward. Now, what I'm about to give you, if there are any graphic artists in the house, you probably know this. And if you are, your jaw is dropping because you cannot believe what I'm about to give these people with Inveto. If you know, you know. People, this is going to save you so much money. This is going to change your entire life. If you do not have a graphic team, if you've been trying to figure out how to get these videos and these logos and these animations and these stock images and all of this, this is it. And this is called in, in, well, Inveto and Invato. And Inveto and Invato, or however people pronounce it, I say Inveto. Inveto is broken up into a few different categories that were all themed around elements and nature. We have Theme Forest, Cold Canyon, Video Hive, Audio Jungle, Graphic River, Photo Dune, and 3D Ocean. 